at Michigan. We can see Dad in the stands today as he cheers on Michigan. Back to you. Thank you for that, Aisha. Like she said, both the Amin brothers part of this wrestling program. The dad, a former wrestler, it's really in the blood of this family, and, and it shows too. The Amin brothers, both very technical wrestlers, very fundamental. They understand the game very well. They're also very skilled, though, as we see there. The yeah, beautiful fireman's carry by Miles Amin to put him ahead 2-0. And there's a lot of anticipation. Oh, and we've got a brick thrown in. There's going to be a challenge on the call. Now, Cousin Jordan also wrestled for the Wolverines, and they've got another cousin on the way next season. This is a match that people have been looking forward to for a long time. Last season, Dylan Lighty defeated Miles Amin 6-4 in the dual meet at West Lafayette. So we're gonna take another look at, at that one there. It looks like they're challenging whether or not that takedown was in play perhaps. What are you feeling, Tom? Well, it was so quick. I'm wondering if he achieved control and if he did, was a part of his body within the cylinder. And the refs are gonna look at that. So they'll have a good luck. It was so quick. Slowing it down may help everyone out today. But a great match, you can see Miles Levine came out with a lot of energy, both wrestlers did, and I think we're gonna have a great seven minutes here today. Absolutely, a little more about Amin. He's 12 and one on the season. One of the two captains for the Wolverines is take a couple more looks at the play in question here. I wanna talk briefly just about the strength and really the endurance of Amin. He's really a tough wrestler to battle with, but like you mentioned, Dilly Lighty, Dylan Lighty has wrestled him before and beaten him, so if anyone knows what it takes to beat Miles Amin, certainly Lighty does. Yes, and Lighty's one of those guys from Purdue who was knocking on the door, but didn't quite reach All-American status. Won three matches at Nationals, one more, he would have been on the podium with Amin. Amin had success at the Big Ten and at the Nationals taking third. And Amin, you mentioned his strength. He doesn't quite look like Bo Jordan, but he's strong in the hips, and you could see him elevate his opponent right there. And, you know, he's a gritty wrestler. He moves inch by inch. He moves inch by inch into position. Doesn't always blow guys away, but keeps good position and keeps fighting. The ref came over with my headset. I couldn't hear what he said, but the call is upheld. It's 2-0, two, 2 to 1. And we're on our feet again with two and a half minutes to go in this first. A lot of action already. Both wrestlers doing a lot of hand fighting here. I mean, looking for a shot. Lighty trying to work that head. Went for, went for an underhut, very, very shallow with that underhook. Circling to me. Trying to set up an angle. Two wrestlers of the skill level. Oh, Amin on the ankle. Lighty very nice in escaping that. Moving his hips across. Trying to create some movement there. Circling Amin. Amin's cutting off the circle. It's tough to move straight ahead on Miles Amin, so he's trying to create movement. Half shot by Amin, easily defended. You can see Amin really focusing on Lighty's legs here, trying to get him up and off the mat like he did a few moments ago, trying to get that second takedown. But Lighty doing a great job of protecting his legs and keeping his core out of reach of Amin. Yes, 
And Lighty really trying to use that right under hook. I mean, appears to notice that now. We've got 40 seconds left in this first period. I mean, looks very calm on the wrist. Tried a double leg, did not get deep. Both wrestlers, forehead to forehead. Now ear to ear, back to foreheads. Close to hands in the face there by Lighty. No call. Lighty gets the call. He's going to defer. And Amin chooses down. You know, after that initial takedown, I was really expecting to see Amin come back and right back with another takedown, but Lighty did a great job of adjusting his style to counter the style of Amin and really keep himself in a position where he has opportunities to strike as well and doing a great job defending himself from those low attacks from Amin. I think that's gonna be huge as we progress through this one. And Amin did have another nice shot on the ankle, but Lighty defended that very well. Now they're both on their feet with Amin a three to one lead. Exerting a lot of energy in the upper body as they go ear to ear and forehead to forehead. He's trying to create angle and position right now. Both wrestlers tough, tough on this head. Putting a lot of weight on there. Lighty came off that right underhook and almost was able to arm drag through. You can see now both wrestlers really starting to breathe a little heavier here. It's starting to be pretty physical and endurance could become a huge factor especially towards the end of that third period if it continues like it has now shallow double but Amin tried to work into it he's given up on that shot nice sprawl by Lighty to escape from the double leg takedown and these guys are starting to sweat a little bit they're really working hard Low scoring, but a lot of energy exerted in those ties. Certainly the score doesn't reflect the effort that both these men have put in so far. Really a physical matchup, and it's showing with both of them. They're both starting to get a little tired. Still going at it very hard. You've got to respect the endurance and really the determination to stick with it here. These guys are no strangers. They've battled each other before, and... You can tell they know each other pretty well out there. They, they're really not giving the other the opportunity to strike. And this would be a fine feather in the cap of either wrestler who wins today. Amin looking for payback, and he's in on that single. Tries to scoop the leg, but unable to. Still coming around, and this is where Amin is good. Patience, inch by inch, as he tries to come through. Lighty on his hip. I mean, trying to come through. Now he's, now he's got the two, and it's five to two, with one minute left. And that's going to be huge for Amin right there. That puts his lead at three, and with under a minute to go, and with how low scoring these two have been against each other so far, you have to think that that three-point edge is critical, especially with riding time really not looking like it's going to be a factor. Absolutely, that was huge. Now it's five to three, and Lighty's in a position where he needs the takedown to send the match to overtime. Riding time is not a, a factor at this point in time. Tries a shot, easily defended by Amin. 
And Amin knows he's got the lead. Circling, he doesn't have to be desperate. He was the aggressive wrestler earlier, earned the points he needs. Fifteen seconds left. Lighty with his head down. Great hand fighting by Amin. Lighty trying to get an underhook or doubles, unsuccessful. Amin heavy on that head, sprawls out, and takes home a 5-3 victory, returning the favor from last season. And the fans knew that with these two, they were gonna get anything but disappointing, and I think they lived up to the standard. That was an incredibly exciting matchup. Let's take a look at some of the highlights from that one. Not too many takedowns, but really a lot of physical play, head-to-head, -head, 